Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kind of another video here. Tim talking about the interview process for the Navy's new propulsion program and some good resources you can use to prepare for them. But before we begin, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps us to try to build this channel. So the interview process first starts with a phone interview. This is designed to simulate the technical interviews that you'll encounter in Washington, D.C. Uh, generally it lasts around 45 to 60 minutes. It contains about three to four questions. The majority of the questions are going to be calculus and physics based. Uh, examples include calculate the volume uh, or area of a shape using calculus. Uh, distance and velocity projectile questions, uh, and then also major specific questions, such as if you're a mechanical engineer, be able to draw a stress strain curve and explain its key characteristics. So once you pass your uh, phone interview, you'll then be scheduled for an interview date in Washington, DC. Uh, if you're interviewing for the new pop program, expect a four day trip with day one being traveled to DC, day two being a study day, day three being your interviews at Naval reactors, and then day four being the day that you travel home. If you're interviewing from the Naval Academy or ROTC, it's a similar trip, except it's three days. Uh, you just remove the study day. And in terms of the interview date at Naval Reactors, you'll generally have two one-on-one -on -one technical interviews in the morning, three technical interviews if you're interviewing for a Naval Reactors engineer position. Uh, the interviews will generally start with calculus and physics-based questions and then move into major specific questions. Uh, they'll generally last around 30 to 60 minutes. If you fail one of these interviews, you'll then you'll be scheduled for another interview in the morning. Uh, everyone will then break for lunch and then come back to complete the Admiral's interviews in the afternoon. Uh, these are fairly quick interviews uh, and the things you should be ready to discuss are any bad grades on your transcript, uh, any work experience that you disclose on your application, as well as why you want to be in the program. And definitely check out the uh, video description for study references that I recommend. These are references that I use when preparing for my interviews. So that's going to do it for this video. If you guys found it useful, definitely hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.